is not a drill. Signs of the Day of Judgment are happening at the 2024 Olympics. So insult Christians as well. This is supposed to be Jesus' last supper, and this man is supposed to be Jesus. Now think about it. Who would go so far as to insult Muslims and Christians, especially Jesus, on a global stage in front of everyone? Does this not seem like the work of the Dajjal? If Dear brothers and sisters, Welcome back to Islam Gram Official, where we explore the intersection of faith, culture, and current events from an Islamic perspective. Today, we're delving into a controversy that has stirred the global community, the alleged mockery of Christianity at the recent Olympics. In today's video, we'll be discussing the incident that has sparked outrage among many Christians and faith communities worldwide. We'll examine the events, the reactions and the broader implications of respecting religious beliefs in global events. The controversy began during a segment of the Olympic Games where a performance was interpreted by many as mocking Christian symbols and beliefs. This has led to an outcry from not only Christian communities but also from Muslims who feel that faith and Prophet Isa, peace be upon him, was disrespected on a global stage. Many of us woke up on the morning of Saturday, the 27th of July, 2024, to the news of Muslims and Christians worldwide outraged. Apparently, the outrage came from their watching the opening ceremony of the 2024 Paris Olympics, which exhibited an anti-Christian mockery replicating the Last Supper of Jesus Christ, Allah's peace be upon him. As usual, a mockery of this nature was carried out to promote Qamlut. Sadly, this time it was done in the most disgusting way it can be. Contrary to the reactions that only Muslims show when a mockery is meted at Islam or the Prophet Muhammad, Muslims also express their unhappiness when Jesus, or any other prophet for that matter, is mocked. In fact, sometimes Muslims take the mockery of Jesus more seriously than some Christians do. The incident quickly went viral with social media platforms lighting up with reactions. It's essential to understand that religious symbols hold deep significance for believers. For Christians, elements like the cross, the figure of Jesus Christ, and other iconography are sacred. Any perceived disrespect can evoke strong emotions and a sense of betrayal. As Muslims, we are taught to respect all religions. The Quran emphasizes the importance of honoring the beliefs of others. In Surah Al-Anam, verse 108, Allah instructs us not to insult those who call upon other than Allah, lest they insult Allah in enmity without knowledge. Islam places great emphasis on respecting the diversity of faiths. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also exemplified this in his interactions with people of different beliefs. It's crucial for us to uphold these values, especially in today's globalized world. In a world as diverse as ours, media and entertainment have a powerful role in shaping perceptions. While artistic expression is vital, it should not come at the expense of disrespecting deeply held beliefs. We live in an age where cultural sensitivity is more important than ever. It's crucial for creators and performers to be mindful of the impact their work can have on various communities. What might seem like a harmless joke or artistic choice to some can be deeply offensive to others. As Muslims, we must stand in solidarity with our Christian brothers and sisters, advocating for respect and understanding across all faiths. We should use this incident as an opportunity to reflect on the importance of interfaith dialogue and cooperation. If you found this video insightful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. How do you think we can foster more respect and understanding among different religious communities? Until next time, may Allah guide us all on the path of righteousness. For those interested, in our next video, stay tuned and be sure to hit the notification bell.